You wouldn't believe how many useful processes can be salvaged from old devices. Okay, that's it from me. Becker wants to see you. He's taken over Reed's office. Say what you want about the man. That takes guts. Any news on Luis? Not yet. But she's been through worse. Don't think too much about it. I'm telling you, Magnavolt commercials are not kidding when they say lethal response. What do you mean? Hey, Murphy, do you have a minute? It's about Lewis. Did you say Lewis? Yeah. Me and a bunch of guys decided to sign this get well card for her. I figured that you'd want to sign it as well. A get well card? Yeah, I know. It's, it's just that we want to let her know we're with her. I am sure she will appreciate that. Uh, thanks, Murphy. I knew you'd understand. Actually, there are a few signatures that we still need. Could you ask them? I think I need a break. At a start, Kowalski is hiding somewhere in the lobby. Understood. Thank you for this opportunity, Mr. Becker. Uh, you are very determined. I must have seen your application like 20 times. I assumed they were getting lost in the mail. <laughs> that didn't stop you, did it? You're persistent and capable, too. Highest marks on all the written tests? Pretty much an ideal candidate. Aside from the fact that you don't meet any of the physical requirements, that's actually remarkable. Short stuff. Unfortunately, sir. Why is being a cop so important to you? My father was a police officer, and his father was one, too. Huh, a police family, huh? It must be heartbreaking not to be able to continue a family tradition. You know, I have the power to look the other way and make you a cop despite your shortcomings. In exchange, I only ask for one thing. Your complete loyalty. And maybe a touch of gratitude as well. Will I still get a badge? Like a proper police officer? Badge? Oh yeah, sure. Then Officer Washington is reporting for duty. Good. There you go, youngin. Is... Is that blood? We don't make a badge for every new officer. We just reassign the old ones after cops retire. Or die. R Robocop. I'm a big fan. Well, that's great, because you'll be spending a lot of time together. Meaning? Aside from his regular dispatch duty, Officer Washington will become your personal overseer. Overseer? Yes, you will report to me on his every action. Hopefully that will prevent him from continuing to tarnish his already murky reputation. His recent behavior casts a shadow on OCP, and we can't have that. That's a lot of responsibility for a rookie. Every other cop refused this post. But you won't. You wouldn't jeopardize your career, right? Uh, no, sir. I would like to proceed with my investigation, now that we know that the new guy is Wendell Antonowski. Was he even listening to anything I've been saying? Absolutely fucking not. You're off the case. Actually, you're off all cases. There's a bunch of documents that need archiving in the records room. That's your priority now. Understood. Now go. I'll tell Achilles about what's what in this godforsaken place. It's Ulysses, sir. Hey, first rule, kiddo. Never question your superiors. What seems to be the problem? Uh, Mr. Becker wants you to do some maintenance work, so, you know, please scan the servers, see if they're operating properly. I'm sure they are, but he insisted I found a job here for you. Yeah, I wish I had something more exciting for you to do, since for me, this is where all the action happens. Explain. With this wealth of information at your fingertips? 
This records room should be a real hotbed of activity. Others don't seem to know how fun it is to dig through all this stuff. You can play a real-life detective here. Officer Cecil, you are a detective. Yeah, but mostly just a paper pusher. So, if one wanted to find out the whereabouts of a particular criminal, what would one do? That's easy. Just check the computer in the back. Type in who you're looking for and see if there are any matches. Uh, j just remember to scan the servers at some point. Mr. Becker will blow his top if I don't make sure you checked him. I'm telling you, this is incredible. Just type in your search. He's never been charged? Well, that's hard to believe. There's a, a neat feature you can try. See who attempted to access his file before you did. Maybe that'll help us. Officer Briggs. Briggs? That must be the last lead that he checked before going missing. So his case led him to the Street Vultures territory? Maybe those two cases are connected after all. I'll have to report this to Sergeant Reed. And I am on my way. There's nothing I can say to stop you, is there? No. Well, then instead I'll say, go kick ass for Lewis. Ah, RoboCop. I was looking everywhere for you. I wanted to say that this is an incredible honor for me. But, you know, I get the feeling you don't see eye to eye with Mr. Becker. Yet, despite the position I'm in, I'll do my best to assist you in any way I can. So, what are you doing here? I am going to Highland Park. Now, isn't that Street Vulture's turf? That is where the lead took Briggs. It could be connected to Wendell. Oh, man. That's exactly what Mr. Becker told me you shouldn't do. It, it's my duty to stop you. Is it even safe for you to go? I mean, think of yourself. You keep malfunctioning, right? What if something happens again? Hey, Murphy. I found this on the back seat of your cruiser. It's for you. I can't let you go. Uh, is there some sort of a command for that? Uh, Robocop... Off. Uh, Robocop, stay. Hey, all cops have to follow rules. Especially you. You're a cop and a machine, so you can't go. Your systems won't allow it. Right? Wrong. Uh, uh, Robocop? Robocop? Don't do this to me. Not on my first day. I know you're listening. There is still time to stop and turn back. The street vultures are territorial and vicious. You wouldn't want to be caught on their turf, especially by their leader, Spike. You know, I'm, I'm reading that he's known to be exceptionally savage. Apparently none of his enemies got out of Highland Park alive. I will be the first. Uh, I'm gonna get fired.
finding a missing police officer there will be like looking for a needle in a haystack. And I'm looking at the map of this place and it's huge. There's no way you can investigate without being noticed. Street vultures are the biggest gang in Detroit. I have a large supply of bullets. Abandoned squad car sighted. It could belong to Officer Briggs. I, I can't report it based on your assumption. I'm already in enough trouble. OCP tracking device torn out. That's why no one knew where to look. There is blood on the seat. I mean, it's possible it belongs to someone else. Bullet holes in the bodywork. <laughs> Every cop car in the precinct has bullet holes. I am going to follow the blood trail leading from the car. I, I know you really want to find Briggs, but the trail might as well belong to any of those bikers. I'm urging you to discontinue this search. Negative.
Look out! Robocop! Spread out! I am looking for a police officer. Hey, I don't know anything. I'm just an accountant. He was brought here. There is always so much happening around here. I tend to focus on my work. I wouldn't remember. Would you like me to refresh your memory? No. Police officer, I get you. You're right. Not long ago they brought him here. He was already in real bad shape. I kind of felt for the guy. Where is he? Once he got back on his feet, they took him away. But I don't know where. I'm telling the truth. I only deal with numbers. If you need any more info on your friend, try the warehouse office. It's on the west side of the mill. Do not move until I return. No problem. If anyone finds me cuffed up here, I will look as tough as the others. Are you ready to come back to the precinct? Negative. A wounded officer, perhaps Briggs, was moved to another location. I have a thug's testimony, proceeding to the enemy command center. How can you be sure that he's not leading you into alliance then? I am hoping for it. <sighs> You're hopeless. That whole area is out of police jurisdiction, and according to the new policy, if we want to really be there, we need to go through the whole I'm sure you know what Baker's top one is. I believe I do. I'm starting to understand why he hired me. You're a handful. They got a car.
I knocked his fucking tooth out. Well, cop, now we know you won't be leaving here in one piece. You won't either. Hey, you're spoiling my mood again. I don't like it when cops wander around. Cops mean trouble, and trouble upsets me. So really, this is your fault. Do whatever you want. But soon the cops no. will... No. No cop of any kind is going to show up here anymore. The police officially won't be responding to any calls from this area. Does this mean we have a deal? As long as you can work quietly. We're vultures. You need carrying. We're up to the job, no worries. And as for your toy... Would you like to join us? A fine offer. Sealing our contract in blood. But I prefer cleaner games. How about instead we do some hunting? Could add a bit of cheer. Spice things up a bit. And I know just the right place for how does it feel knowing we're gonna take you to the quarry and shoot your ass to pieces? And the police ain't gonna do shit about it. I bet it really pisses. Charts. What happened? I found a tape of Briggs being tortured. Their boss Spike was in on it, together with Wendell Antonowski. Did you say he was tortured? Yes, surrounded, with no way out and no backup. That sounds so messed up. They used him as prey. They mentioned a quarry. Uh, did, did you say quarry? Okay, let me let me have a look. Yeah, I see it. It's just north of your position. On my way. Robocop, I really hope you find him. Stop until I do.
really prepared an ambush for you. That's why you won't try to go there, right? Right? Robocop, your body temperature is very low. Are you okay? I am in the freezer. 
What is the freezer even doing there? They used it to store Briggs' body. Oh. So that means... He was not the only victim. <sighs> More bodies? That's insane. I'm getting you back up, even if it gets me in trouble. The only person who should expect trouble is Spike. <laughs>